Hello and welcome to Digit. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the T-Link TIR650IN wireless N300 router. To begin with, you should read the instruction manual properly and connect your router to a wall socket. Take the ISP's cable and insert it into the WAN port on the back of your router. And then take an Ethernet cable and connect it to the back of your PC or laptop and put the other end into one of the LAN ports. Once that's done, open up a browser, any browser for that matter, and enter the URL of the admin panel. In our case, it's 192.168.0.1. Once you do that and press enter, you'll be prompted to enter the username and password. The default username and password is admin and admin. Once you enter the password, you'll be shown the wizard screen or the setup wizard screen. Over here, you can set up this device to be an access point, a router, a repeater, a repeater on WISP mode, a client, and a client on WISP mode. We are going to set it up as a router. And this thing happens to be a single band router, so you only need to add the credentials of the single band. In this case, we are going to type digit. 24G, put in any password, and this should be a strong password because this protects your Wi Fi from uh, unauthorized access. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll be entering a simple password. Then you need to speak to your ISP. Your internet connection could be a fixed IP connection, that is, your ISP provides you with uh, an IP address, a subnet mask, and a default gateway. The DNS can also be provided, or you can pick one of your own choosing, like Google DNS or OpenDNS. Then you have autoconfig, in which case the router speaks to your ISP's router and gets all the authentication details from there. And lastly, you have PPEOE dial-up, which is for folks who get a username and password from their ISP to gain access to the internet. We'll be using the autoconfig. Select autoconfig. And if you wish to clone the MAC address of your previous device that is connected upline, you can use autofill or just clear it out. Click on save and apply. Your router is now applying the settings. This is a soft boot. Please do not turn off or reboot the device when this is happening. Your router will take a while and then you'll end up on the setup screen again. You can check if you're connected to the internet by typing in digit.in or any other website of your choosing. So that's it for this little how-to video about setting up the D-Link DIR650IN wireless N300 router. Thank you for watching.